come and mourn with me a while. See Mary calls us to her side. O come and let us mourn with her. Jesus, our love, is crucified. Have we no tears to shed for him while soldiers scoff and Jews deride? Ah, look how patiently he hangs. Jesus, our love, is crucified. Seven times he spoke seven words of love, and all three hours his silence cried, For mercy on the souls of men, Jesus, our love, is crucified. Let us pray. My Lord Jesus Christ, Thou hast made this journey to die for love of me, for with love unutterable. And I have so many times unworthily abandoned this, but now I love thee with my whole heart, and I repent sincerely for having offended thee. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany thee on this journey. Thou goest to die for love of me. I wish also my beloved Redeemer to die for love of thee. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to thee. On our social and religious calendars, today is marked as Good Friday. Churches are open and devotees go to services at various times in the day. This is especially so for traditional Christians. Why the name Good Friday? Because on this Passover preparation day, see John nineteen thirty one. God gifted humanity with the ultimate gift of his only begotten Son for redemption and salvation. What seems to have been eclipsed by the crucifixion and death of Jesus Christ bursted into light with the fact of the resurrection. O oh, happy fault, the church would sing in the Easter proclamation that earned so great, so glorious a Redeemer, the ignominious death of the cross, the execution reserved for the worst of criminals, and which caused Jesus' friends, his disciples, to distance themselves, became the greatest good for humanity. Thus, reading back from the resurrection event, Friday preparation for the Sabbath is referenced as good. Culturally, to amidst the prayer, fasting, and abstinence undertaken by Christians is what is served for the main meal in homes at this time. The meal consists of provisions of blue food and fish, in particular mackerel. One should not have been surprised also at the grocery, when the groceries were unpacked for the weekend at the presence of cross buns. Good Friday for liturgical Christians form part of the sacred trudeau. Thursday of the Lord's Supper, Friday or Good Friday of the Passion of the Lord and the Easter Vigil. On Thursday, the emphasis is on service, on Friday, suffering, and on Saturday, new life. Throughout the 40 days of Lent, the challenge for all Christians was to pay attention to the Word of God, to give priority to the Word, to listen with the heart. Apart from one's personal or private devotion to the Word of God, the texts supplied for the liturgy are rich in significance for our spiritual lives. Thus, we were encouraged to read the Word, to reflect on the Word, to pray as inspired by the Word, and to act on account of the Word. What is this Word through which God speaks to us today and urges us not to harden our hearts? The Word of God is to be heard in the text for today's liturgy. We are invited today also to listen to Jesus' last words, which he spoke from the cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke 23, 34. Amen, I say this to you this day. You will be with me in paradise. Luke 23, 43. When Jesus therefore had seen his mother and the disciples standing whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold thy son. After that, he said to the disciple, Behold thy mother, Luke 19, John 19, 26 to 27. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabbatani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew 27, 46. 
Afterwards, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scriptures might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. John 19, 28. Jesus, therefore, when he had taken the vinegar, said, It is consummated. John 19, 30. And Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And saying this, he gave up the ghost. Luke 23, 46. What do you hear from the cross? What would you like to hear? I hear the words from the cross, Father, forgive them. In other words, cancel their death. Personally, I'd like to hear for myself. Today, you will be with me in paradise. May this be the desire of all of us to attain heaven as we follow in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, the crucified.